Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with that, um, just put it in, Great Paintings of England book. We had used this previously. Um, I made some pockets from it. And I thought, let's come along and use some of the famous paintings to make ephemera in the form of, with a snippet roll. So I've got this um, kind of, you know, basic snippet roll that I've assembled here, just using very neutral um colors and obviously it's looking to have some detail kind of put on it if you see what i mean so to spare you the pain of me flicking back through the book i've torn out a bunch of pictures that i can use obviously on the snippet roll and yeah i just thought we could come along and see how they look because i thought they would make quite fun um you know fun additions to the snippet roll so let's just go along and take some out now this man here, obviously, as you can see, he's in a circle. Um, I was going to cut him out in the circle, but why would I do that? Yeah, I'm now thinking, why would I do that? Why wouldn't I just tear him down? Why would I put myself to the pain of having to now tear him out <clears throat> or cut, cut him out in a circle? Then I can just tear him out in any old shape. So, yeah, just going to tear him down. So, like that. Okay. Right. Now, I might have made him a little bit big. Actually, he doesn't look too bad. Not as bad as I thought he might. Um, I've got this gorgeous image here, which, of course, I'm now trying to hoard this image. Because that's so pretty, isn't it? I mean, what is wrong with me? Uh, well, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to continue to try and hoard it. So, I'm just going to put it to one side just in case I want to hold it. Now I've got the remainder of my um, street names there. So I might use some of those as well, maybe mixed in with the snippet roll, we'll see. But let's just take a couple of these images. Just going to take it down a little bit on this side as well. Oh, maybe I'll have to take her down a bit more. They're actually bigger than I expected. Now I've kind of torn them down. I'm thinking, oh, they're actually a bit big for the snippet roll. But hopefully, oh, sorry, my glasses have just come dropping off my head. Um, hopefully they will be fine when we come to actually use them. So, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, definitely need to tear some of them down a little bit more because they are, like I say, just bigger than bigger than I thought they would be. So yeah, but that's fine. Hopefully they will still work. You know, work really nicely. Um, okay. I thought I'd um, done a few coloured ones as well, but actually they look like they're all black and white. But that's fine. I don't mind having black and white ones I think black and white you know work really really nicely again I'm trying to hold that picture what is wrong with me what is wrong with me why would I be trying to hoard that picture I mean goodness sake <clears throat> right so yeah like that and I've got this one which is coloured. I don't know how the coloured ones will look. I mean, I might then kind of think, oh, actually, the black and white look better. But we'll just see. I'm not sure I like that picture, to be honest. I've got this one which is also coloured. I'll just take this one down. I've got this one, which is also a coloured picture, so nice picture, isn't it? Very nice. Right, so yeah, let's just tear that one down. Oh, it's so chilly. So chilly today. 
Right, my house doesn't seem to be um, warming up at all. I mean, not that it would, because I haven't got my heating on, but <laughs> you know, for some reason I'm, I'm expecting it to still be heating up. Yeah, of course it's not going to, is it, with no heating on? Um, but yes, it's pretty chilly. Right, okay. So I have got a jumper and a cardigan on, so um, yeah, I am kind of trying to trying to keep myself a bit warm. Right, so yeah, we're going to have him there like that. Let's just tear this one down slightly more. Okay. Now, just going to see whether we want any of these, um, you know, street names in the background. Just because they're like hanging over really from the last um, video, you know, with the making the pockets from the famous paintings. So yeah, we're just now doing a snippet roll using the famous paintings as well. So, you know, hopefully then going to be, you know, to make some ephemera from the famous paintings. So, uh, right. Now I'm going to just ink these up again, just like I did in the last one, because they are very, um, you know, well, obviously you can see they are black and white. Not they are very black and white, they are black and white. So, um, yeah, I just want to kind of give them a more sepia tone by just inking them up. <clears throat> just because they'll look better against the snippet roll, really. So let's just go around. Oh, gosh, he's now got a big brown blob on his face. So he actually looked better when he was just black and white rather than now. Now that he's got that big brown forehead. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. <clears throat> just going to tear her down slightly and then just yeah ink ink around there okay and then this one which is also black and white obviously oh and this one oh, more than I thought Take her down slightly because she's a little bit big at the moment. Okay, oops. Right, let's just ink her. Okay. Uh, I don't really need to ink the, um, you know, the coloured ones. To be honest, they look fine. So yeah, I won't won't bother with the coloured ones, but. Just ink that um, street name a little bit. Okay, right. And then might mix them in with maybe some labels. Now, also going to be mixing them in with some lace. So I've got black lace here. We used the black, you know, quite a bit in the last video. So just pull that down. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous and yummy does that look? I mean, I just literally slung that on there, but my goodness, it looked really yummy, didn't it? So yeah, just love, love black and, you know, black and, um, well, I was going to say black and white, but no, just black, black lace, I suppose. Okay, let's just take him down a bit. Yeah, love how that looks. Now, I have to say, I did quite like it with the lace over. Um, but I'm thinking maybe it needs to be a slightly smaller, you know, less deep kind of part of the lace. So, more like that. Mm, I'm so sorry if you can hear my daughter's tablet. She's obviously, um, yeah, amusing herself with her tablet while I'm doing my videos. It's the school holidays, I'm filming this in the school holidays. And so, yeah, what I try and do is like, obviously work till about lunchtime. So during that time, she's just on her tablet normally. I know it's not, not ideal, but what can you do? So, um, you know. Okay. And then just going to put the lace here and again, just going to sort of ruffle it. So just going to put some here like that. 
of the Fabri-Tec and then just kind of ruffle the lace a little bit like that. <clears throat> and I'm just going to move the book in case it's blocking the view a bit. Okay, that looks nice, doesn't it? And then I've just got some bows here, so I'm just going to see, see whether we can have a bow. Or I've got the bling. <clears throat> so I could definitely have a bit of bling on there. Oh, I don't know now which I prefer. Perhaps he needs the bling and the bow. Maybe just the bow. Let's just go with just the bow for the minute. Like that, okay. Hmm, that looks very pretty, doesn't it? Now, I have just got my labels here. I'm so sorry, it's getting really, really dark. It's obviously about to track it down with rain. And yeah, it just gets then suddenly really, really dark. And, you know, of course my desk's not right by the window. So yeah, it's, um, yeah, just gone, gone dark. So I do apologize for that. Now, just wondering whether we could have this here as well. So that's just one of my labels. I think that's from the Junk Journal Basics kit. So yeah, just kind of finish that off with a label. Right, next one. So do we want to have a bit of, yeah, maybe a, maybe a street name there. <clears throat> Put that down like that. And then I'm going to just put him down. Okay, oops. I have gone a bit far over actually compared to how I was planning, but never mind, it's fine. Doesn't really matter, doesn't make much difference. Um, Maybe, maybe a label as well and then maybe a little bit of lace so I've just got this here I'm just going to snip off a little bit so maybe even have the lace kind of coming out from there like that oh I like that so yeah I'm just going to glue this down with the hot glue over the top of the lace it's just trapping that lace down just kind of saves me saves me glue in the lace and the the label so like that isn't that just so gorgeous <clears throat> okay move it along so we have got this one I'll just move this out of the way I'm so sorry about that dark um you know the dark light I really can't kind of do anything much about it I'm afraid I mean I could put the light on but it's not kind of dark enough I think the light would maybe maybe be more of a problem than a help Right, now I'm just wondering whether we could add a bit of colour onto her. So, just got this. I mean, it's only a sort of greyish label. It's not like it's highly coloured. So when I say I thought we could add some colour, it's not it's very colourful. But yeah, just maybe a little bit. And then <clears throat> maybe she could have a grey bow. Lace wise, uh, maybe we could put the lace kind of beside her for this one. So I'm just going to put the label down first. Come on now. 
only just used you this morning, so there was no need for playing up at all. Right, right. let's put that one down. Maybe like that. Oh, what am I doing? I'm trying to put it the same way as I was thinking. Oh, we'll put the lace down. Oh. Right, the lace then like that. <clears throat> Just move that out of the way. Yeah, and then she can go on and maybe a bow there as well. So again, let's just glue her down. My wipe. Just press her down with the wipe and then Okay. Oh how pretty does that look? So just moving along, um I'll do one more black and white one and then we'll do do a colour one I think. So yeah, I'm just going to check actually that the coloured ones wouldn't look better up there. So, because <clears throat> obviously I've got one or two bits that have sort of got some more colour in. I don't think it really matters to be honest. The, yeah, they all look fine everywhere really. So, well, perhaps we'll do him, shall we? Let me just check. Mm. Oh no, perhaps we'll do that one. Yeah, perhaps we'll do this black and white one still. So, okay, now I have got some um, colourful bits here, mm, she says, and now I can't see them. Because I just wondered whether we might want to actually add some colour instead of keeping this neutral. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do we think to if we had colour there? instead of just keeping it all neutral like we have on the other end but instead add some colour like that so if I just then pop the rosebud down <clears throat> under that black lace so like that or perhaps I should turn this round now and do it lengthways yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe he needs to go lengthways so as we have slightly more of the background paper showing. And then have the, the lace out to the side. So kind of have it like that. And then have the rose, just covering up that dog that was kind of climbing up him, which of course then got, you know, partially cut off anyway. So yeah, maybe we prefer it like that. So just going to cut that lace down and then we'll just glue that on so yeah I've never really kind of um you know <laughs> twisted a snippet roll around past part way down and had it so it's like one way and then it's turned around but you know there's no reason why you can't do that that's fine too because you know I do find a snippet roll really unless it's a continuous snippet roll if you see what I mean unless it's a continuous snippet roll, then they often are, um, what's the word? Like individual clusters, really. You know, they just kind of have the same sort of concept as a cluster in that when you tear them down, they really do take on the appearance of a cluster, you know, um, you know, to the point you perhaps wouldn't even know were they a snippet roll or were they a cluster. So, yeah. That's why I'm thinking, you know, when you kind of then glue it down like this once you've torn them all individually you wouldn't really be aware of whether they were clusters or snippet rolls okay so like that so he has now that very big rose beside him <clears throat> yeah quite like that right let's move this along slightly so we were going to have a coloured one next, weren't we? Now, she is lovely on here because he, he kind of matches or picks up some of that colour. 
might turn it back round to do this one so we're just kind of like going with the flow and you know just using which way round fits the pieces that we're doing really so yeah for her she kind of is better this way round I think uh, yeah might have some of the some of that label in the background so I'm just going to print that up okay Like that. Okay, okay. Now, do we want some different coloured lace here? Is the question, or do we want to stick with the black? So let me just put in the black. <clears throat> I mean, the black is very nice. It's got to be said. Um, hmm. Let me just bring in a bow. Oh, that's quite nice. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Let me just bring in this. I mean, this is just some that I've got laying around on the desk, so I'm not necessarily saying this is the right, the right colour or anything else. But yeah, let's just give it a try. So we can just gauge, you know, a bit of an impression of what different coloured lace would be like. But... Uh, oh, I don't know. Mm. Let's just pop that down there. Not sure about that, to be honest. Um, So hard to decide sometimes, isn't it? Um... <laughs> Honestly, I'm just sat here kind of like thinking, oh, do I or don't I? I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Thinking maybe... Maybe an ivory would be better. Just trying to now think where I've got some ivory lace. So, Oh, or actually, let me just see whether I've got any more... Yeah, I have got some more of this slip. So that was handy, wasn't it? <clears throat> this is probably a better colour than the peach. Because that peach really, you know, there's nothing kind of on there that's peach, is there? So, oops, cut a ginormous bit of lace there. Not, not required at all. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that looks good. Right, so just going to glue the lace down first. Like that. Oops. Ooh, like that. Okay, and then just take my image here. Okay. Right, I'll glue that down. Okay, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? And then let's take my bow. Do we think have the bow? Yeah, maybe the bow coming out there. I mean, I am kind of like covering up the man now, but never mind. Like that. Quite pretty okay let's move this along so yeah I think we've only got a couple of pieces left to do um, although I thought I had another three actually but yeah who knows what's happened to those bits one of them's obviously disappeared I've probably flicked it off somewhere and it's now hidden underneath something else on the desk anyway it's it's fine it doesn't really matter so yeah let's just kind of work along with these <clears throat> so I've got this one here so again, let's see about, uh, oh. yeah, maybe have this, oh, did I cut a smaller bit of lace just now? Oh, I don't know now. You know, when I cut this piece in half, I thought there was another smaller piece, but maybe not. 
maybe not. Uh, yeah, like that. And then, oh look, there was, but. Well, that might be the piece I just cut, actually. Let's see, I like I'm going mad. Literally going mad. Right, let's glue this one down. down and then just going to put this down which actually I'm now thinking I could put the lace here like that that's quite nice isn't it so yeah let's have the lace there take like this oops just pop that down there like that okay looking good uh, do we want some bling on here? Yeah, maybe a bit of bling on there. Like that. Looks quite good. Okay, and then this one here. Like I say, I thought I had another um, image, but yeah. I'm sure I did have, because actually I think I did have three coloured ones, but I've obviously misplaced it. Oh, here it is, look. Well, that was that one that I said actually I wasn't that keen on now. Because, yeah, he kind of now looks a bit weird, doesn't he? Because he's looking a bit like a girl, but... Mm. So I might not, might not use that one. So I might do the other last little fraction, perhaps off, off camera later. So, right, okay, let's just put this down here like this. So I'm just going to glue this bit of lace here. Again, just like completely random kind of spot really, but yeah, just, just using it and getting it cleared off the desk really. So, so that I've, you know, used the scraps as it were. And then, we have some labels i'm actually thinking again should we have some more colors what do we think if we actually have some more color to this again <clears throat> so put her there and i've just spotted on the floor I've got a red flower so hold on let me grab that oh no it's it's not red it's one of those ones from the halloween kit in purple what if we had some purple on her and do you know what i've got this laying around from the halloween kit as well I'm actually thinking, what if we kind of layer her with a little bit of purple coming out? Like that. I mean, yeah, the flower would have been a bit weird with no other purple, wouldn't it? But to just add a little bit here now, it brings that flower in, doesn't it? So... Yeah, I think we can actually get away with that. So that's pretty good, isn't it? So we'll pop her down like that. Okay. Just glue that down. And then the flower. Ooh, flower. Now, just see if I've got any labels that I might like to have on her. Oh, gosh, I can't now see whether this is up the right way or the wrong way. Let me put my glasses on. Yep, right way. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, I'm just going to kind of put that label on. Okay. <clears throat> and then the purple flower. Mm. Yeah, probably there. Although I am feeling like it needs something on this side. Oh, do you know, I have got some purple sorry silk. I mean, this is obviously, this is a tiny snippet roll. So, I mean, how I think I'm going to be ruffling this up on here is beyond me. But let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Right. If I can manage to do this, it will look good. If I can't, then it will just ruin it completely. But let's give it a try. So, going to put the purple rose down. Okay. Just going to turn this round so I can get to it. Okay. And then going to try and ruffle this here on this edge. Now, obviously, I'm pretty limited. You know, this is only a tiny snippet roll. So, 
you know kind of a bit of a limit as to how much ruffling can really take place but just a tiny bit is maybe all that I need to do so yeah oh, I think I've screwed that um, uh, you know sorry silk up so it's not looking not looking great okay oops let's just bring that in and now I'm just going to snip this down here oh my goodness how gorgeous does that piece look I love how that looks it's oh yummy 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 and I'm just going to see whether I could have any flowers on here so I'm kind of getting carried away now because it looks so good I'm like mm, what else could I have maybe one <gasps> that's quite pretty oh I might just quickly go back down the snippet roll and see whether I want to add any more any more of these little flowers because they do kind of yeah they do look very good don't they they add add an extra something something okay that. okay <clears throat> Just going to see if I need any more of these anywhere else because they are so pretty. Definitely, you know, looks good, doesn't it? If you can just add like little bits of bling kind of around, it does, you know, it all makes a difference, doesn't it? So I'm just going to put that down there. Almost like tucked, you know, tucked coming out from behind that bow. So like that. And we just see if we want any more. I'll just cut that final one off. So yeah, just in case we want that anywhere. Uh, maybe there. Yeah. Okay. So, like that. Right. I think that's probably all that we can add to that snippet roll. Obviously, I have got that space at the end, which I haven't done anything with yet. But, you know, we can come back to that. So I'm going to just move you along slowly so as you can kind of see it close up, um, you know, each little section. So. And they're all just using those famous painting kind of images, which I mean, how gorgeous do they look? They just work so well, don't they? Just absolutely lovely. And then obviously that end, you know, which I've still got yet to do. Um, but yeah, I hope that you really like, um, you know, the snippets or the, you know, yeah, the snippet, snippet rolls, snippet pieces that we've made. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you feel inspired. Let me know, obviously, what you do with your, um, you know, famous painting images and things like that. And yeah, hopefully we'll come back and maybe do some other things with some other, you know, um, other of the images from the book so thank you so much for watching and have a fab day everyone I will see you guys tomorrow thanks then bye